Linda, back in February last year, was making about $2,700 in the month of February. And this year, are you guys ready? Drum roll. She has made over $9,300, which is absolutely incredible in just one year's time. Can you imagine? just what kinds of results. So you're going to get to dive deep today and learning what did Linda do? What are some of the things that she's learned over the past year so that you can take that wisdom and you can thrive with it as well. So welcome, Linda. So glad that you are here. Oh, thank you so much, Joanne. I'm so happy to be here. I've gotten to know you over the past year, and it's been so fun being able to get to know you from just seeing how much you've grown in the online tutoring world has been incredible. So before we kind of dive deep, can you share a little bit about your background and what kind of drew you into the online tutoring space? I went to grad school and I was recreating myself after a divorce in midlife, like so many of us. I had been an at-home mom, even though I was trained as a teacher, but I had just been taking care of kids and been in the home for nearly 20 years. And so then I thought, oh, my ticket out of this after a divorce is to go back to school. So I sank all this money into school. And then what came forward for me was a real passion for teaching children to read. And now I could been, okay, this didn't come from nowhere. Because I had been a first grade teacher. My goal was teaching kids to read. And so that was in the background from before I had too many kids that I had to just focus on. And so I started my business part-time in 2015 while I was still in graduate school and just to help pay for my school and things. And then I made the decision and it was really a mental leap to working for yourself. I had a little paycheck job at the time that was also helping me get through school. And But I made that leap to work for myself full-time with the tutoring business and so. to follow my passion which extends really into the community because I'm very concerned about the literacy crisis in our country. Mm -hmm. So I just decided I'm going to devote my life now to making a dent in that literacy crisis. Yeah, I love it. And what were the initial challenges that you faced in online tutoring before you joined our community in the Jumpstart Your Online Tutoring Business Masterclass? Getting found. The marketing is always the big piece. I was teaching 100% online, especially after COVID. Before COVID, I did meet some tutoring students in the library. There were some that where I went to their house. During COVID, of course, everything changed. But the wonderful thing was that all the kids learned how to Zoom. So after that, I thought I can reach so many more people if I'm not driving around all day. And so I went 100% online. But when once you're online, you have to be found online. So right. I did to improve my SEO, my Google ranking. Mm -hmm. So that when people would search for a tutor, they would manage to find me. And I knew I needed coaching for that. I did not know that much about online marketing. I wasn't highly tech savvy. I knew how to Zoom, but I knew that marketing involved a lot of knowledge. Yeah, so for sure. That's what I was looking for when I joined your coaching community. That's awesome. I remember, too, that you were working for a couple of other companies, too, because you were doing some drawing lessons with a group of students. What was it like working for some of the other companies? Yeah. So I would pick up money on the side through working for platforms like WiseAnt. I did a little stint with varsity tutors, but they really pay very poorly. I think I was making mm -hmm. $16 an hour and oh they were gosh. charging their clients like 75. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's very disheartening. Mm -hmm. a teacher in the classroom, you're making at least 25 to $35 an hour. And then with all your yeah. training and your knowledge and your teacher to be making that little was, it's disappointing. And it is. So I didn't stay with varsity tutors for very long at all after I figured that out. But Wizen is nice because you can set your fee, what you want to charge. Yeah. So as I gained more experience with my business and I raised my rates, I was able to do that on Wizen as well. And it was a nice little start for me to just to get up and running. You do give a percentage of what you make, right. of course, to the platform. So eventually I wanted to go off the platform and attract my own clients, which was another reason that I came to your coaching program to get my online marketing up and running. Yeah, for sure. Because just relying on the other platforms, you've been indebted to them for life unless you learn the skills that you need to learn. I know you're also playing with Facebook ads and that kind of stuff. What was that like for you to try to be able to lure students into your tutoring services? Facebook has this thing, which is very attractive to the little, okay, where you can spend like $25 and you can run an ad and people will see 
see it as they scroll their phone, as they scroll on Facebook or through Instagram or what have you. And I did sometimes get leads through those. One time I got 16 leads. I'm like, oh, that ad was good. But none of those people ever converted into clients. And so I started to realize that it was more important, very important to target your audience. And yes. it does have some tools where you can target your audience, but it's just not really targeted enough. Because I can target parents, right? Like people who have kids, but not all of those kids are going to need the services that I have. And it's not the best use of the money. The real gold whenever it comes to Facebook marketing and in order to retarget, you have to already have an online presence. Like you don't get to start from fresh or you have your own leads that you're putting on into the algorithm so that they can make sure that those people are seeing like you have their emails, you add their emails into the marketing and now they're getting retargeted ads. That's where the real win comes with Facebook and nobody getting started in online tutoring has that piece already in place. And so they don't realize that this is going to be a huge money suck for you. You can keep trying the strategy, but how many people do you want to talk to that say no? Or how many people do you want to message who say no? It's just, it's so disheartening. But when you have that right marketing in place and you know who your ideal client is, not only do you save money, but you start earning more money because you're directly speaking to the people that you want to be working with. Was there like a specific moment as you were part of our community that kind of changed the game for you? Here's the moment. The moment for me was when I, when you coached us on raising our rates and as a tutor out there by myself, my own little guy thinking was that I needed to somehow match what the going rate was for agencies. But we've just talked about the fact that agencies can be very mingy with their money, paying their tutors $17 an hour. So you can't really go by what agencies pay tutors. So what I did was, this, but from your coaching, I expanded to thinking about what am I really worth? I'm a highly skilled tutor and I can raise a child's reading rate, a whole grade level in three months. And so that's really valuable. And so I raised my rate to $100 an hour. And prior to that, I'd been charging 50 and feeling guilty about it. Yes, I remember. And so remember what happened when I was so scared. The first time I got a prospective uh -huh. client contacting me and I had to spit it out of my mouth what my price was. And I kept avoiding it. And their response was, you must be good. I know. I will never forget that. I will never forget that moment. I know. And then it dawned on me, we set our value. We tell people what we are worth. They don't tell us. The market doesn't tell us. Only we. Yeah. And when we move into this business mindset, businesses don't run their business based off of what do I think I can charge? They run their business based off of what are the expenses that I have and how much income do I want to be able to bring in my business? And so we as tutors, we come at it as like getting paid for a job versus running a business, right? And we really have to think about, okay, what are the expenses that are going to be at play here? It's not just about my value, but can I really make this a legit business? Because the government's going to ask me to pay taxes that I have to pay. I got to pay double taxes. There's all these different pieces in play. And we want to make sure that we have a legit business. And the other thing, I know we were talking right before this podcast about, it's not even just about the money that you bring in, but the money that you also keep. You were talking about in the beginning, we have all these, let me buy this membership. Let me buy that membership. And you were falling into that trap where you're like, oh, this would be so good for this student. And then purchasing like that membership and you did an audit on your memberships and, and you learned a lot from that experience. What were some of the aha moments you had from that? One of the things is in your group, we've started using a platform which is for freelancers and it combines many different services. And some people will use what they call a CRM, right? So it's like a customer relationship management or whatever CRM means. And yeah, so yeah, that's it. all your services are in one place. And sometimes those seem to cost a little more. But when you look at what you're spending for all your different pieces of running your business, sometimes those mm -hmm. can actually be quite economical. And so when I switched to the freelancing platform that you started promoting in our group, I've been able to cancel two, three other services. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What you have to do is you have to see what are the subscription services that bundle all things together. And I knew that piece of information in my mind, but I hadn't yes. actually found the right one. And so yes. I'm so grateful that you spend all this time looking for things for us that will work and you actually found it, put it in front of us in the group. I just want to say about coaching. This is what coaching does. Last year when I was making $2,000 a month, it was not enough to run my household. And I knew I needed coaching and I was ready. I said, I'm a teacher. I teach people things they can't learn by themselves. That's when my whole life group 
revolves around. So why wouldn't I get a teacher to learn the things I need to learn? And that's what coaching is. Right. And so once, and I made a commitment, Joanne, I don't know if I have told you this ever. I made this big commitment to myself that no matter how much it costs, I was going to do everything that you told me to do. And I was going to get the coaching. I was going to do the programs. I did several of your courses. And I just, even if I didn't have the money in my budget, I just wrote the check. I just figured out a way to do it. Big part or st stole them up. <laughs> but, and this year I was able to pay my mom thousands of dollars back that she helped me to invest in this oh, year. Oh. And it felt so good. I just, I wrote her a gigantic check because I'm doing so well in the business now, but it is the coaching that made the difference. Yeah. Learning these little tricks, having you out there doing all the work of researching the platforms, researching what subscriptions are worth the money for us, putting them in front of us. I just love, that was another mindset shift towards letting someone else in to help you. Yes, because we do like in the beginning, because we're such great teachers, we just think, oh, well, I know how to tutor. We forget the part that full online tutoring business is actually pretty new. Like we used to go out to people's houses like you did or meet at the library or do those kinds of things. That was really an under the table type of job. It wasn't a full time career. Now that we're online, we're able to make this a full time career. But that means that we now need to run it like a business. So a lot of us are going at this like our full time career, accepting money through Venmo and not really treating it like a business. And I think that's like a, a big piece that people are, don't realize. Every brand new tutor or every tutor that I work with has made the exact same mistake. Every single one. They make the same exact mistake no matter where they're at in their business. I can tell you where they're at. And then they join the community and all of a sudden they close all of those little gaps and they get better at marketing and they learn how to speak to their ideal client. And all of a sudden those students start coming on. Hey there, tutor heroes and sheroes. I've got a little secret to whisper your way. Remember how I swore I would stick to my old tutoring platform unless something truly groundbreaking came along. It seems like the universe was listening because I have spent last year getting acquainted with Koala Go. And let me tell you, it has been a game changer. Imagine transforming the tutoring experience into an immersive 3D virtual adventure where kids don't just learn. They thrive in an engaging hands-on environment. Koala Go isn't just another platform. It's a revolution in educational knowledge. Now here's the scoop. There's four standout features that have broke me and my students absolutely Absolutely. Look, picture this, a dynamic, interactive whiteboard where ideas come to life. Kids can actually shuffle post-it notes around much like they would on Jamboard, making learning an active, participatory glorious. Who said learning can't be an adventure? With Koala Go, there's a playground where students can skate into classrooms, turning every lesson into an exhilarating journey. And we can't forget about co-browser functionality where you no longer have to juggle control with a shared mouse. In this digital space, every student has their own mouse, paving the way for seamless collaboration and exploration of resources for upcoming activities. And the cherry on top, gaming and rewards. So students can earn gems, reap rewards, and even play games with a built-in dice feature. It's not just learning, you guys. It's an entertaining quest for knowledge. Koala Go has redefined what it means to learn, making it fun and captivating for kids. A long last, there's a platform that truly is designed with the young learners in mind. A huge shout out to Koala Go for sponsoring this episode and making such a revolutionary tool available to us. Curious to see this magic in action? Click the link in the description and prepare to be amazed. Trust me, your tutoring sessions will never be the same. It's the networking too, because I know you've gotten a lot of students through the networking while you're learning as well. What has your experience been like with that? The three C's are the benefits of your coaching program. So it's coaching and it's courses and it's community. And the community is huge in your community. I just started posting, getting to know people, talking about my losses, my wins. And so people started to reach out. And when they reached out though. Also because of the courses I was doing inside of your program, I had some video. I had learned to make a couple videos, which I hadn't known anything about how to do that before I joined your community. And so I got coached inside the community how to make videos. I got coached how to set up my website so that it was not just a page, but that it led people in. It had the right message. It was actually a funnel. We can all throw up a web page, but is it really doing what we want it to do? So thing that I learned from directly from your coaching too and inside the program. But then when people started reaching out to me in the community and they were other tutors who had students that would match well to my expertise, I teach older mm -hmm. children. So mm -hmm. middle school to high school. And then I also teach adults in remedial reading. But let's say there's a teacher who specializes in K through three. And then an 11 or 12 year old comes to them. Okay. Or let's say there's someone who works with grade school kids and now she has a college child who's struggling with reading comes to her. And so she sent the older child to me and yeah. she said, 
though, that she researched me, that she went to my website and that it was the video that was the clincher for her. Oh. All these things I was learning. It's the community because people can find you and refer to you. But then it's the coaching because you have the pieces in place that people mm -hmm. need to see. They want to see a little video of us. They want to see how we are, what we look like, how we speak. So it, it just connects with just, people so much more. Yeah. Yeah. It all worked together. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I think that's so amazing. I know I've referred people to you because we both teach reading and I don't want to work with the older kids. I can only take on so many students because I'm also working with helping tutors and running that side of my business. I just know when to say no to clients now. I've gotten really good at that. And knowing that if you're not the perfect fit for for me, I need to pass you on because otherwise that means I'm saying no to somebody who is a perfect fit for me, who will come into my funnel pretty soon. I think it's great to that we can do that. Now, that does not mean, you guys, that you message me and you say you refer me because I don't know you if you're a podcast listener. Notice that what Linda's saying is we got to know each other because we were. I was coaching her. I, she was in our community. She was active in our community. That is what makes the difference when we randomly approach strangers and ask them to refer students to us, that is not going to be a strategy that's going to work very well for you. So the networking is about giving and receiving. It's not about you never start a networking situation with asking somebody to give you something. That's not the way a networking relationship begins. And yet a lot of tutors, this is the strategy that they try. Let me reach on out. Let me ask if they'll give me students. And it will not work, at least not with the tutors that I know, because we're picky. We want to make sure that the right student is getting the right tutor. And so if I don't have other tutors that are employed for me where I've already done those background checks, I've networked with other tutors that I already know could be a good fit or I know somebody who's going to give me a good, like I can pass them on and then I can introduce them together. And I think that's really important is there are so many great facets inside of our community that have really led to your journey of going from last February 2,700 to now being at 9,300 this February, which is believable. And are going to be points in your business where you feel like it's a roller coaster? Absolutely. That roller coaster is going to be there in the first year. But if you take the time in that first year to create that online presence, what's going to begin to happen is people are going to start finding you online. And you have all of these other tools set up that have the possibility to generate new students. So you're not just waiting on one type of marketing strategy to just bring in all of your students. It's really going to be putting several marketing strategies into place to be able to to attract your ideal students and then having the right information for them to find about you so that now they feel comfortable with hiring you. And I think this is really an important piece here. I remember you said, Linda, that at the beginning, like tech was a pretty tricky thing for you. I, I remember you saying you were tech challenged or something like that. <laughs> and now I just look at all the things that you're doing, Linda, and I'm just like tech challenged, huh? No, it was just where, like for a lot of us, it's just where you were at in the learning stage for that specific thing. We talk about the the four stages of learning. When you learn something new, you start at the beginning. And some people, they may take a little bit longer to learn it, but aren't we all tech challenged if we don't know that tech tool? We all can be tech challenged, but we also all have the ability to figure it out. Like age doesn't come on into it. You just need the right people to show you and sit down with you and say, okay, share your screen with me. Show me what you're doing. Where's the mistake? I just sat down this week with our wonderful Stacey Weiss too. She was struggling with one of the programs that we're using together, which is Asana. And I was like, show me your screen. We figured out the problem like within 10 minutes. And I was like, okay, we've got it figured. All right. I don't even know if you realize this because you're in yourself. You are you. Okay. But I interviewed so many coaches for I joined your program. And in this community, that happens. Okay. But it doesn't yeah. happen. It doesn't happen yeah. in other coaching programs. We literally sit together on Zoom. And then another coach in your community, Jessica, was doing with me the other day. I, I was trying to make a video short to post up to YouTube. And I could not, every time I turned my camera to myself, it was blurry. And I was like, I can't figure this out, Jessica. So we sat there going back and forth. She's trying this, turn that. And then she's, is there something on your screen? What I did with it, but I pulled off this absolutely disgusting screensaver. And it was like, how would I have known? that from some video course. Yeah, here's what I find with the video courses or even YouTube. You go onto YouTube and you're doing step by step what they tell you to do. And then all of a sudden that button they just told you to push is not on your Isn't screen. There. 
It's not there. What do you do? I know. Yeah. And so, you're, you're just stuck. Yeah. And what you're talking about also, though, I want to say something else about this, which is super special. And it's been it's the fact that in your community, we're all teachers. OK. And the one of the reasons that I picked your coaching program was because you are an online tutor. You have done the exact job that I wanted to market for. Mm -hmm. I looked at a lot of different business coaches and I even know some other tutors who have paid like six thousand dollars business coaching, to learn SEO, to learn to get found online, things like that, okay? And then when they have help writing their marketing materials, they don't get the ROI they want to get. So I thought, why wouldn't I choose someone who specifically will help me market for my exact business? And when right. I looked around online, you were it. You were the only person really doing that in the space a year ago. And then when I got in the community, I realized, oh, this is so much bigger. Everyone in here is a teacher and teachers are different. Right. We help. Yes. We do homework. Like teachers are special. There's just a glow of helpfulness in the group. And it's not like being in another business coaching group to build your online marketing because in those business groups, you get just people who are just about their business. They're not necessarily teachers. Or you get, oh, these are my favorite people. The people that will hound you to take on their services as well. They'll be like, oh yeah, so I, I could show you how to do that. Let's go into our coaching spiel and I'll tell you how I try to sell you on those services that you can get from me and it's going to cost you another $2,000 to work with me. It can be so frustrating because you're just like, oh, I thought you actually wanted to help and you just oh. wanted to sell me any services. And then they're always at $6,000. What is the $6,000 <laughs> thing? It's cited that a high ticket offer is $6,000. So then you get these people who are brand new and they're just like, oh yeah, okay, I charge $6,000 and you're like, not. And that was another thing about your community is that you didn't do that whole $6,000 entry doorway thing. Your community is like a steal. It's $199 a month. You don't have to plunk down $6,000 to get this incredible level of coaching ongoing. And it's like the best thing since sliced bread. I feel like it has to be affordable for teachers because people who are trying to break into the online tutoring business are not going to be high on the hog. They don't have their business going yet. Maybe they're a retired mm -hmm. teacher. Maybe they're a teacher who's for some other reason, like they have kids at home and so they need to start their own business because they need to set up their schedule a certain way or maybe they're just disenchanted with the school system. There's all these reasons we have but we don't already have a business when we're coming in for coaching. So I just love that you didn't buy into that whole $6,000 stuff and that it's yeah. carnival. Yeah because that's the thing if you get one student like pretty quickly which is possible it's already being paid for because you have that one student and you can continue to learn how to get more students and make more money. Now we're talking about it's significant growth to go from $2,700 to $9,300, you did not need to invest even like seven, $8,000 in order to get to that point. Like you now get to legit keep all of that money. You're not having to pay 20% to another company, 25, 30, 40%, 80% if you're actually like employed underneath them, right? Like you oh. get to keep that money for yourself. Wouldn't it be worth it to trade $197 to learn the steps you need to take each month versus having to pay for the rest of your life? Life in order to have other people doing that for you and then still not getting the results that you want. I've heard some people say it's getting harder and harder to get students on Wiseant and on OutSchool and on all these other platforms that are out there. And if that's the case, that's not because of saturation, right? It's because people are now starting to seek out the individual tutors on their own. They're able to find them online. They're able to do searches before it wasn't as easy or as possible. And now they can. That means that the individual tutors like us, we get to hold on to and keep more money, which is so exciting. I love it. Yay. So looking ahead, Linda, for tutors who are where you were a year ago, feeling stuck or unsure about moving their business online, or what advice would you give them based on your experience? Number one, I needed coaching. There are a million things going through your head. SEO, my local marketing, how do I reach out to school? And what about this whole video and website and all the tech stuff? Because I had been doing my business since 2015, remember? I mentioned. Okay, did I have those things in place by 2022, which was seven years later? No, I knew I needed them for years, but I didn't have them in place. So now having made the investment in the coaching, okay, okay. which is still pretty affordable, but having gone ahead and made the commitment, okay, and done my courses and gotten to know a community of other tutors and how they solved their issues and gotten all those great referrals from them and doing courses as well when I needed to. My professionalism, my curriculum, I did a course 
with you on that because you have the master class for reading teachers and <laughs> then doing masterminds. And the masterminds in the group are just amazing because like we were talking about, you get to workshop your issues. It makes you get your marketing tasks done because you, Tuesday, 1030, I got to meet with my crew. And right, I gotta right. Get done. I, I wouldn't have won video this year if it weren't for that. If it weren't for having to show up with something done. Okay. Yes. And that's just one part. It's there's so much in the community. So you need community. You can't do it. You could do it on your own, but the whole thing is your trajectory. Okay. It's how fast do you mm. want to get to where you want to go? Yeah, exactly. Because you can do one thing like a website and take six months to do it. But in the community also, you brought this book, The 12 Week Year, and then we get to go to a book study for that. But once you get in the community, you have access to all this stuff. You don't have to pay extra for these things. And that book yeah. is blowing my mind because mm -hmm. suddenly I'm looking at my year, not I want to make X and such this year, or I want to expand and reach out to this many students per year, but I'm looking at my quarter. So mm. I'm driving myself as a businesswoman because yeah. I'm looking at what you learn in this book, The 12 Week Year. It was such a good pick and thank you so much. But yeah, this book teaches you how executives and business people look at their projects. They focus on one thing per quarter and they make that thing happen and then they measure their results. So the concept is a few core activities count for the majority of results. I'm reading that off the planner because I wrote it down. But you don't know how to prioritize what the few it's, core activities are that you need to do first until you get in the presence of a person who has 15 years of experience, who is you, right? Because we just need that guidance. Number one, join Insider Secrets Club and tap into all the stuff that I tapped into this past year that massively increased my income. Number two, I would just say also try to balance your local marketing efforts, like reaching out to schools, whether you put flyers around whether you're on the phone with friends, family, however you try to promote yourself locally, Google My Business, Nextdoor, whatever you're using, try to balance that with a program that's really going to help you with your long-term nationwide SEO. Yeah. That's what we really want to do to promote sustainability in an online business is get yourself up on, up on that Google hit. And this year, I know you said this year in the community, we're going to specifically be focusing on that long-term SEO. And yes, you might think, oh, I'm already booked solid with my local clients. Well, are you thinking of expansion? Are you sure? Like, can, do you want to stay a level four where you've got, you're making so much money per month and you've got so many students, or do you want to go up to level five and six where you're really killing it? People from all over the country are coming to you and you're tutoring online. Yeah. Oh, you know, and Which allows you then to work with more students, right? And so you can make more income because of that. And we're not charging less because we're online. A lot of us are charging more. But it all comes down to putting the right systems, putting the right pricing strategy, surrounding yourself with the right people, and continuing to make this journey. So I think definitely you guys check it out. And if you want to talk to Linda more about the Insider Secrets Club, you absolutely can. Where's the best way that they can contact you, Linda, if they have questions? My website is my high impact tutoring. Dot com And you can contact me through there. I also have a Facebook group, which is also called My High Impact Tutoring. I love Thank you for sharing your story and your experience and where you came from and where you are. And some of us, we want like results as of tomorrow, but we have to give ourselves time and grace to be able to learn. And I'm telling people, it takes a year to put all of these in, into place, but it doesn't have to take a year to see an in increase, right? And so begin putting these pieces into place now so that over time you begin taking advantage of that. Like I took advantage of the online reading tutor back in, I don't know, 2016. And because back then it was so much easier to get found for SEO keywords, I'm like at the top still. And I don't do a lot with that website. So get in on this information now so that you, because it's only going to get harder and harder. But when you surround yourself with a community, you're going to find that we can help each other with the SEO and you learn all of those strategies inside of the community. So definitely come join us, check it out. And we also have lots of free events throughout the year that you can check out. We've got our impact conference that you can attend different trainings. If you're not a member yet of the ultimate support group for online tutors, 
on Facebook. Definitely go there and check it out so that you can connect with other tutors. It's a free group. Don't have to pay anything. If you're just sitting there and you're like, "Eh, I'm not sure, you can start there and see what does connecting with other tutors do for you and your tutoring business. We are here to support you. And when you are ready to take that leap, definitely reach out to us and we're more than happy to help. Thank you so much, Linda. And everybody, you guys enjoy the rest of your day and keep being awesome.